Hey YouTube, Reggie Tech here, and today we're going to be replacing the 13.3 inch LED screen on this Toshiba Chromebook 2, model number CB35-B3340. So right here I have a brand new LED screen for this laptop, and as you can see this laptop has extensive damage to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and it has lines running across it as well. The frame as well is also damaged and does not hold together. So in this video we're going to go ahead and replace the screen and we're going to try to get this laptop looking like it's in its best shape. So let's go ahead and get started with this repair. So the first step is to power off the laptop. Because we can't see what the screen has, we're just going to go ahead and power off the laptop by holding down the power button. One side of the screen we won't have to be removing the screw as it is broken. To remove the screw, all you have to do is take off the plastic cover that's stuck onto the frame and underneath that will be the screw. You take a Phillips head screwdriver and you unscrew it. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the plastic frame. Be careful not to crack it. There's one more screw that's holding the hinge to the frame, so just remove that. We're now going to go ahead and start to remove the screen from the laptop. So to do this, there's going to be adhesive behind the screen. So just be careful, or in this case, we don't really have to because the screen's already broken. But still, you want a clean repair, so you're going to have to take it off with care. There's a sticker that's holding the ribbon cable into place, and it's pretty hard to get up. So just take a little prying tool and wedge it underneath and pull it up. Once that's removed, that's it. The old screen is off, and you're ready to replace with a new one. So replacing with the new screen, all you have to do is plug that ribbon cable right back into place. Make sure you hear it snap into place because without it snapping into place, it won't be connected properly. And stick the sticker that it was held with before right back down into the right place. We're just going to power it on to see how it works and to see if it works properly. Obviously it works properly, so we're now going to go ahead and remove the old adhesive from the laptop. We're going to go ahead and apply new adhesive to the back of the LED screen, just to hold the screen in place. Be very delicate when you're pressing the adhesive down on the screen as you don't want to mess it up or mess up any of the diodes inside. We're going to go ahead and remove the adhesive's protective layer and we're going to begin to stick it right onto this uh, back cover of the laptop. Just make sure that it goes into place and all the pins line up. Next we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix up the ribbon cables just to make sure that they're in the right place and they're situated properly so when you close the screen there won't be an issue. Now we're going to go ahead and screw in the screw that holds the hinge to the frame. We only have one in this case because the other side of this, this uh, frame is broken. Now we're going to go ahead and try and get the other hinge to at least hold in place while we're reapplying the top of the frame. Before we apply the frame, we're going to have to remove the protective filter that's over the LED screen. While installing the frame back onto this laptop, you just have to clip, clip it back into place. Make sure that all the clips all the way around are clipped correctly. Next we're going to go ahead and screw in the one screw that we took out because the other side is broken. Then we're going to go ahead and put that little sticky plate, cover plate, right back onto where it came from. As you can see, the laptop works perfectly. So 
So now let's take a look around the laptop. The laptop's hinges work perfectly. The only downside is that you see that there's a broken part on the laptop, but that's just because that's where that part of the cover frame broke. The rest of the laptop looks pretty flawless. And this repair is a complete success.